Good morning, Modern Steaders. Do you know what day today is? Today is Friday, and you know what Friday means? Modern Steader update! Woohoo! Look at all them apples! Would you just look at them? I picked them up yesterday morning and last night! And look at them all! I got a lot of apples to pick up again. Speaking of apples, let's go check on the pigs and see how they did eating all the apples we gave them last weekend. Today we're going to be picking the winners for 10,000 modern steaders can't be wrong three incubator giveaway and we'll be contacting the winners via email and they will have until Wednesday to respond to us and if we don't hear back from you we're going to pick another winner. Let's check on the pigs while we're here. I don't know if you remember there's a lot of apples out here still but how big that pile was it was huge. Good morning, girls. Good morning. We had a lot of apples we dumped in the back. Let's go see how they're doing with those piles. There's a good sized rock under there. So they've been spreading it out pretty good and eating it. You girls are doing good. Look, they're debarking all my firewood for me. That's awesome. I like that. It looks like some nice ash. You're working that too? You're a firewood debarker? Thank you. You have so many applications. Good morning. Are you peeing? You need some privacy? I'm sorry. Hey, that's my boot. You don't need to be eating my boot. They're doing a great job cleaning up under the old New England heirloom apple orchard for us. Look at that. Out there, like right there, and right here is what this area looked like. It's a scratching post for the pigs too. The exterior of the outdoor kitchen is all built. If you haven't seen the videos on how we built our off-grid outdoor kitchen, I'm gonna link the playlist right here. I need to stop building on the backside here. I need to stop building on the outside right here. Our composting outhouse we're gonna be putting up. We need that for the hand-hewn farm three-day class. I'm going to build that just right along the back here. That's going to be nice. We got the through the wall chimney kit in the mail the other day. So we're going to be installing that soon and getting the antique wood cook stove out here. We got a lot of stuff we need to do to the inside. We got to do that. Got to get the stove out here. We need to get some stainless steel tables. We got to get a grill. We got lots of stuff to do. And we got to get it done by the end of October when Hand Hewn Farm shows up. The squash plants are doing amazing over here in the hay bale gardens. Spaghetti squash is growing nicely still. Our white pumpkins are doing good. They're not ripe yet. The winter buttercup winter squash I don't think is going to make it in time before we get frost. Potatoes are doing good. That's one thing I wanted to show you. I'm pretty sure this right here is a potato seed. If that's what it is, or you know what it is, leave it in the comments down below. Some more spaghetti squash. The summer squash out of here hasn't been that great this year. I had a, we had a little summer squash last night in our dinner with a little zucchini we chopped up and put it in our fried rice. Oh, look at all them zucchinis. We gotta get picking. Look at that. Yep, we're gonna be freezing some more zucchinis soon. This garden here is our spent hay bales from our winter chicken coop that we just planted in. And the potato tower is planted in hay from the winter chicken coop too. So we just took the scrap that our chickens made covered in awesome chicken manure nitrogen. That's like Popeye spinach for building muscles for the vegetables. And look how great they're doing. We haven't had to water them or anything all year. We're just picking and eating off of them. 
how much easier does it get than that? The front garden's doing amazing still. We're still getting plenty of tomatoes. Lots of green ones on here. Always look nice. We're gonna have to pick those soon and let them ripen up in the house. The peppers are looking nice. We just need a little bit more time for them to grow and get bigger because we have lots of peppers. They're just not big enough yet. We've had a really good growing season, but it just hasn't been the greatest growing season for us. We've been able to get a lot of crops. They're just not coming all the way to fruit tuition. <laughs> get it? Fruit tuition? Because that's what they're producing for us, fruits. We just had a very cold, wet summer, and it started very late. We were at least a month behind than we normally are. So some years you have better success in some areas than others. And this year, the garden has been successful for us. We've learned a lot and we've gained a lot of knowledge. We just haven't gained a lot of food from it. We've gained enough to eat from the, for the summer, just not to store, which is all right. The onions are doing awesome. They're still growing nicely. Once these tops start falling over, that's when we know they're done growing. So they're still looking nice and perky. The green beans still growing. Corn, we'll let that keep growing and then we can feed it to the pigs. We didn't get enough off of that this year, but the, that'll make some awesome pig food. And then our strawberries are doing amazing. They're gonna be awesome for next year. They're off shooting so many more strawberry plants. This little bed is gonna be loaded. We haven't talked about the Icelandic chicks lately. I don't know why, I just always forget about them because they're in the basement. But the Icelandic chicks are doing awesome. We ended up losing the blind one. We came in here one morning and he just wasn't kicking in alive anymore. I don't know what happened to him, but the four we have left are very healthy. They're starting to feather out already and they're just beautiful, healthy birds. We have one white one, and all the rest of them are dark black, like blacky and sweet pea. Get one more to show you. This guy's our lady. He's nice and he's gray. Whoops. They got beautiful markings. Let's get our grain and go take care of the other animals. Good morning, Rufus. You gonna eat right out of the bucket this morning? I'd feed you out of my hand, but I don't want you to eat my fingers again. So this is Rufus, the father, and the two mothers for the Icelandic chicks that we have in the basement. Our plans are to grow our chicken flock into all Icelandic chickens, and we're working them up slowly to do that. The Icelandic chickens are hard to find, so we've came across two different flocks right now that we have. We have Rufus and those two ladies, and then we have some younger ones over in New York City, and we have some other roosters, so we'll be able to have a nice little breeding flock next year. Here's our garden that we planted where our pig pen was last year. All we did was rake out the wood chips, plant our seeds, watch it grow, and pick some food out of it. It's loaded with squash, cucumbers, we haven't had to do much to it other than eat out of it. It's been an awesome garden for us. Speaking of cool weather crops, let's check on our broccoli and cabbage over here. Uh, looks like the Japanese beetles have picked up on this cabbage. These ones maybe too. We're looking good though. This is all purple cabbage and purple broccoli. Keeping our fingers crossed that we have a long enough season to get these grown out. 
It's the beginning of September and some of our trees are already turning. That looks beautiful. But that's way too early. I don't know if anybody noticed, but the harvest moon is like a couple of weeks or a month early this year too. It seems like the seasons are all messed up. I wonder if that has to do with our cool summer and not in an early and just a funky summer. If the harvest moon and the eclipse we had this year has anything to do with that. Hmm. I'd love to know that. That would make sense though. It is just a beautiful foggy morning here at Lumna Acres. That right there is a beautiful view to me. Shut off our fence. There's been a lot of modern statters in the comments saying, give some apples to the chickens. Let me show you how many apples the chickens have. Look at all the apples. They're in their own old growth New England heirloom apple orchard. Look at that. Last year the chickens ate the apples up like crazy. This year, they're not touching them. Good morning, Mr. Biggs. We hear you loud and clear, Mr. Biggs. Turn this back on. The heritage meat birds that we've gotten from Cackle Hatchery's frying pan special, they're doing awesome. This might give you a better look of what we got for chicks. Got the white ones there, the darker red ones there, the light there, barred rocks. And then we got the dark ones like that, and then we have a darker one with black on them, right there. But these meat birds are doing awesome. They're so healthy, they love the grass. Both of the flocks we have are doing the same. They love it when we move them to fresh pasture. I just love the foggy mornings on the homestead. They just love the move to the fresh grass. Plowed out. We hope you enjoyed today's video. You got a cobweb on you.
There we go, we got it. We're looking forward to announcing the modern stedders that won the three different incubators. We're gonna be contacting you soon. And we can't wait to hear all about how you plan on using them. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and when you're there, there's a little bell icon. Hit that, that turns on notifications, and it'll let you know every time we upload a video. We have our new website, lumnaacres.com, where we're posting blog posts and a lot of other great information over there. I'll put a link to that here in the description down below. I'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.